Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Futures Follow-Up, the uh, weekly show here. We're going to get back to doing Futures Follow-Up every uh, every Tuesday. We're going to put these out uh, for you here that covers all of the pro and semi-pro teams that are affiliated either with Seattle teams, whether that be the Kraken or the Mariners um, or the Sounders, or they are teams that are quote-unquote semi-pro around the area like the Seattle Thunderbirds. So uh, I mentioned affiliates right away, and we'll go straight to it. Uh, fresh off of Monday's victory, uh, the Coachella Valley Firebirds, the AHL affiliate of the Seattle Kraken, which I liken to the Tacoma Rainiers, to the Mariners, you know, essentially like a triple A AAA sort of affiliate. Uh, this past week in Firebirds hockey, May 29th at the Admirals, the Milwaukee Admirals of the AHL, uh, a one to three loss in that one. Unfortunately, player of the game, right winger. Jeremy McKenna, one assist and one shot. June 1st at the Milwaukee Admirals, uh, a 2-5 to five loss to even the series up at 2-2. Two to two. Uh, Play of the game defenseman Jimmy Schultz. Schultz, one goal on three shots. Uh, in game five of the series at on the road in Milwaukee, to, before the series got sent back to Coachella Valley, the Firebirds would be able to rally and win that one 2-1. Two to one. Our play of the game in that one goalie, Joey DeCore Jolie. 25 saves on the game, a 961 save percentage on the day uh, to send the series back to Coachella Valley uh, with a 3-2 to two lead in favor of the Firebirds. Um, on June 5th, back in Coachella Valley, back at Akershire Arena, uh, the Firebirds would win that one over the Admirals 4-3 to three to, to win that series 4-2 to two, um, and send them to the Calder Cup Finals. Our player of the game, left winger Ty Cartier, Cartier, two goals, four shots, and a one plus minus on the game. There, uh, our favorite photo from the game here, uh, Mike Zatek, uh, the team photographer with Coachella Valley, uh, as uh, the team celebrates there around Joey Decord um, after those final moments. So it's been incredible, really, to see the way that the Firebirds have gone throughout this course of the season. You know, they've lost players um, along the way. Uh, in terms of call-ups, whether that be uh, John Hayden, Jes- Jesper Froden, uh, obviously Ty Cartier, somebody that we mentioned there, you know, uh, but there's a lot of NHL proven talent on this roster. Obviously, Max McCormick, I mentioned John Hayden, Cole Lind, um, and then the younger guys, the younger guys like, uh, I want to make sure, I just want to check some of the minutes on these guys. But, you know, Shane Wright coming down there and, you know, Ron Francis, Kraken general manager Ron Francis talking about uh, Shane Wright trying to prove himself a little bit more over the course of the summer uh, so that he can make a roster spot um, or or kind of give himself a good launching point into training camp um, with the Kraken when that comes around there. So let's look at minutes. I want to see because there are a few names. You know, Riker Evans is a guy that I've been excited about since he got drafted here. Um and assigned down to Coachella Valley. Uh, Alexander True is another guy who, uh, former Thunderbird, who um, has had some NHL experience. Uh, let's see. Andrew Podorowski's had a really solid, uh, really great story as he came back. Uh, Froden, Gustav Olafsson was up with the crack in a tiny bit. Um, okay, yeah, well, Vili Petman was someone who was a, a draft pick in year one, but yeah, some of the names that I've been looking for aren't weren't did not play at least in game six of that series. Um, when we look at the Firebirds, because I, I, I mentioned that because, um, you know, you look at this team and towards the end of the year, uh, some the Ryan Winter to join the squad, um. Jacob Melanson. Yeah, Jacob Melanson and Ryan Winter were two of the names I was looking for. Ty Nelson um, is on this roster as well. But considering that it's the playoffs, you know, I'm sure that uh, head coach Dan Bilsma, you know, assistant coaches Jessica Campbell and Stu Bickle kind of have a tight, tighter leash on things, excuse me, in terms of the roster. Um, and I mean, it's it's not like it isn't working, obviously, as they're headed to the Calder Cup finals. But yeah, for them to be such a success story in year one, excuse me, to, you know, really trail the Calgary Wranglers um, in the Western uh, Conference of the AHL for most part of the year uh, and eventually defeat them um, in the playoffs and now take down this Milwaukee team to head on and face uh, the Hershey Bears. You know, it's it's no small feat to see where they are right now and to see the way that they're sort of chugging along here. So it's it's been a lot of fun just to sort of see the way that this Firebirds team has pushed forward and continued on. Um a lot of talent, a lot of talent that we, 
you know, could see in in dev camp and training camp really push for spots with the Kraken this next year. Uh, but for right now, you know, they are in their first year at Acrisure Arena. They're in their first year as a franchise as a whole uh, and as a playing hockey team. And they're headed to the Calder Cup Finals. So um, as I kind of already mentioned, they will be playing the Hershey Bears of the AHL um, in the Calder Cup Finals game one. Is June 8th versus the Bears uh, at home at Acrisure Arena. That's a 7 o'clock start, uh, 7 uh, Pacific time. Uh, and game two is a June 10th start um, at Acrisure Arena against Hershey uh, before, gosh darn it, um, before the series flips over to uh, Hershey. And then we look at the rest of the course of the games here. We don't really have any team related news outside of what we just went over. Um, game three, June 13th at the Hershey. So on the road in Hershey. Uh, seven o'clock. All of the start times for these games are at seven o'clock, which is uh, seven o'clock Pacific, which I find a little bit interesting. Uh, game four, June fifteenth at Hershey, seven o'clock, as I mentioned. Game five, if necessary, June seventeenth at Hershey, seven o'clock. Game six is when the series would flip back to Coachella Valley, if necessary, June nineteenth versus the Hershey Bears at seven o'clock Pacific time. Uh, you know, I mentioned this is where we would normally, if we had anything, would go over to the Kansas City Mavericks, who are the ECHL affiliate uh, of the crack, and they're uh, like a peg below the Firebirds. Uh, some of the Firebirds on this roster right now, Jer- I mentioned Jeremy McKenna, uh, Nick Pasiov, uh, were two guys who played most of the year with uh, the Kansas City Mavericks. So when we get news with KC, we'll update that, obviously. Um, but this week, we don't have anything. Uh, we do have, as we continue hockey in June now, as this is the June 6th episode of Futures Follow-Up, obviously. 